operating and how you can capitalize on not only technology, but put yourself in a, in a situation where you can be ahead of the curve by finding yourself more, you know, with more information and make better decisions by the right education from the right individuals um, with a track record that have been doing this for a very, very long time. And it's my honor and my privilege to, to, to open this evening's webinar with each and every one of you and to bring these two gentlemen on here. Um, you know, both of them have had success in multiple different industries and tremendous success in their individual niches, you know, very successful entrepreneurs. One of the gentlemen is someone that has worked closely with me side by side for the last four years and has changed my whole life in multiple different ways. It's helped me, you know, become financially better off, helped me become a better individual. Um, and we've been able to lead thousands and thousands of people all across the world um, by, by utilizing leadership and a skill set that has been able to, to, to change not only his life, but tens of thousands of people all across the world. And the other gentleman, which I'm going to bring up, has, has, um, has also been doing the exact same thing, but you know, in, in a different vehicle and helped hundreds of thousands of people all across the world, you know, with leadership development, as well as information and technology. Um, and, and this evening, you know, these two are the, the pioneers of what you see here this evening. Um, and it's an absolute honor and privilege to, to share this platform with both of them. The first gentleman I want to bring up is our um, CEO and founder of Driven, but the vice president of trading for now IX Global, um, Mr. Corey Cromery, I, I need to find you to put you as a spot. Hello, hello. One second. Amazing, amazing. Um, and I want and the second gentleman I'm gonna bring up is um, you know, the leading force here in the United States and 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 the gentleman that is pioneering this in the US market and the European market all across the world with being an ambassador for Debtbox. He is someone that we have looked up to. We have seen him do phenomenal things, helping hundreds and thousands of people all across the world. And it's an absolute pleasure to be partnered and working alongside both you beautiful, amazing gentlemen, um, because I know that, that what you've done is a shadow of what you're about to do within this vehicle and, and, and this collaboration that has come together. And this evening, ladies and gentlemen, before I kick it over to them, I want you guys to, to, to look at this information and write notes down as you're going through this information and, and understanding it. Um, and, and one thing that I want you to keep at the forefront of your minds throughout this whole uh, webinar is understanding where we are in time, understanding where we are in business and how you can be in a situation and a pioneering stage of being ahead of the curve, because we can all agree that over the last two and a half years, business has changed. The way business is being done is completely evolved. And the way business is going to be done over the next 10 years is going to evolve even more so. So if you think you've missed the, the, the change in the way business is being conducted, we're actually at the forefront of it. We're actually at the beginning of it right now. So I want you guys to understand, positioning yourself with the right information, with the right individuals, and understand the right education is going to put you in a situation where you can capitalize over the next 10, 20, 30 years of your lives and set yourself and your families up for the rest of your life. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of the way because you didn't come here to listen to me. You came here to listen to Travis and Corey. So we appreciate you and the call is all yours, gentlemen. We appreciate you, Alex. Thank you so much uh, for the kind words, a kind introduction. You know, I am uh, super excited here. Can I get a, like a side-by-side -side view with, uh, with me and Travis? Can somebody uh, do that for me? <laughs> I'm going to... Um, you know, uh, like kick it. this off, guys. You can. <laughs> Anyways, hey, listen, guys. I, I just want to say, um, you know, I'm very recording very in house. progress. Thank you so much. You know, we really, really, um, you know, appreciate you and everything that you do for this community, serving this community. You know, working behind the scenes, and I, I know even uh, working on our migration has not been the easiest task. But you are there in the trenches, doing it sleepless nights. So thank you so much, brother. Guys, we're really excited to be here with you tonight. You know, I have my business partner and friend. You know, we've been, uh, you know. Uh, buddies for for well over a decade now, you know, have run and become very successful together, you know, and have run parallel in the industries together and, you know, have really, uh, you know, led people in our own rights, you know, to, you know, freedom, right? Freedom, you know, pe people say, hey, listen, I want freedom in their life. You know, we, we're, we're two guys that, you know, didn't know what we were doing when we got started and we just worked really hard and ultimately we got 
everything that we, you know, envision because we, we work towards it and we saw that it was possible. So I don't want you to look at any of the information tonight and say, man, these two guys that I'm hearing from are, you know, special and they have all these, you know, gifts and talents that I don't have. You know, I'm a 16 year old high school dropout who was, you know, working construction for $10 an hour, uh, washing dishes for minimum wage, $7.25 an hour uh, when I got introduced to this industry, right? And I worked really, really hard and I, uh, you know, stayed true to the course. And uh, the one thing they told me is just never quit. And eventually the results will come and they came. And I'm sure Travis, you could probably say the same thing, huh, buddy? Listen, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. What's up, IX Driven family? I had to throw on my AMG hat. It just seemed appropriate tonight. You know, I, I, I love the Driven brand. I think that it, it, it fits perfectly within the IX community. And I want to just start off by saying that collaboration is currency. In, in, in my experience as an entrepreneur of, of almost 30 years now, collaboration is currency. And I'm so excited to see these, these two dominant forces that are coming together. And uh, Corey, we are, are so excited to welcome the Driven community here. I, I, it's still new to me. It's still fresh. It's exciting. I was on the phone with some of my, my business partners in Australia just a few minutes ago, and they were like, I'm so excited about this. And you know, yesterday morning, I was on the phone with our, our Filipino team, and they're like, is Driven available yet? Like, can we get our hands on it? <laughs> so it. Driven is... Uh, is getting a very, very warm welcome within the IX community. And on the flip side, I think the Driven community, you guys show me with some sevens, how you guys feeling about the X nodes and having access to one of the most powerful products in the world? I want to know how you guys feeling about that. Well, I'll tell you if I can leave it up to my phone and how much my phone's been going off. I think people are pretty excited. <laughs> so it, hasn't start, it hasn't stopped ringing since we uh, made the announcement, brother. Awesome. Well, listen, tonight we're going we're gonna to have a... Uh, you know, a casual conversation. We're going to pull up some slides. We're going to go through and explain really what makes this so special and so unique. Um, if you've if you've been on a presentation with me before, you've heard me say this before. Um, there are these windows of opportunity in life, and 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 these windows of opportunity they don't open very often and they don't stay open very long. But when they're open, you can absolutely change your stars. You know, I actually get the chills. Look at my arms. You, get, you can literally change your stars. And what I mean is, is in a matter of six to 12 months, you can accomplish what it might take you four or five years in, an, in another company. And I just want you to know the words that I want you to hold on to tonight is, is, is this is a moment in time. Would you agree, Corey? This is a, this is a very, very special moment in time. I, I couldn't agree more. In fact, uh, one of the big things that I've been telling our community is I was like, if you've ever wanted to position yourself at the forefront of a major economic movement, uh, there has never been a better time in history, never been a better time based on all my experience in business, everything that I've been through from, you know, building the teams to working as a consultant to working as a C-suite executive, right? There has never been a moment in time where I can say, we are truly positioned at the forefront of what I believe to be one of the biggest economic movements of our time, without question. Well, take a look at what's going on, first of all, just in the, in the for those of you that are here and you're looking at this from a business perspective, right? I mean, if you want to, I, I know that everything is, the cost of goods is going up across the board, right? Whether it be just your, your normal uh, consumables that you're buying at the grocery store every day, we have inflation, right? But then you have uh, shrinkflation. Everybody know what shrinkflation is? Anybody know what that is? It's when you go and you buy a bag of, of, of salad that used to be this big, and now it's this big and you're paying the same price or more than when it was this big, right? So we have shrinkflation going on. We're living in inflation. Cost of consumer goods are up anywhere from 19 to 45%. And I know that, that salaries and wages are not keeping up with the rising costs of everything. And so you know, what's the answer? What's the solution? It's to create additional revenue streams. It's to create, uh, you know, income producing assets. And that's really what we're going to be talking about today. But from, from a business perspective, just plain and simple, you know, if you look at the trends, even in the direct sales industry, Corey, I mean, if you look at the physical companies as we've known them in the direct sales space for the last 20 years, they're struggling. They're struggling in, in giants that we never thought would go away are merging or disappearing. Why? Because we've gone from brick and mortar to click and order, and now it is the digital world. And we are right in front of it, and we are delivering, and we are the, the number one momentum company in this space right now. 
Yeah, I think there's a reason for that too, right? I, I like what you said there, Travis. Can you say that again so everybody can write it down? What was that brick and mortar, that click to order? I like we, that. We've gone from brick and mortar <laughs> to click and order to now the digital era. We are now in, in, in the digital world. Um, if you look at the top momentum companies inside of our space, inside of our industry, they're all digital companies. And we are the number one momentum company leading the charge in that space. And so, you know, times are changing. Old ways won't open new doors. And uh, what we've got here is very special. So let's jump right into it. Um, first and foremost, I uh, want to start off with a disclaimer. We want to protect the house always and set proper expectations. I'm not a financial advisor, but I know there are some, some, some traders that are on here that have their licenses. I don't. I'm not licensed to give you any financial advice, but really tonight's presentation is to educate and inform. Um, you know, there is risk involved with cryptocurrency. There is risk, risk involved in NFTs. Uh, cryptocurrency is unregulated. There are no guarantees. We are not promising any ROIs. There's risk. And so at the end of the day, we do these presentations so that you can educate yourself and make a well-informed decision. But I also say that there's risk in not taking action. There's risk in, in uh, the crypto markets right now, Corey, if you don't know what you're doing, there's risk in trading in the stock markets. There's risk in putting your money in the savings accounts right now. So there's so the, the, the key is, is you choose your risk based on education. And that's really the purpose of tonight's presentation. What we really are offering here is education, software, and hardware. And I'm going to say that again, education, software, and hardware. And I want to kick it to you, Corey, but I want to say this, and I want to get your thoughts on it. I believe, and, and this is really why we IX Global was founded, and I know the same for Driven, I believe that financial illiteracy is the true epidemic in the world today. Take that. I want you to run with that a little bit. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's just a known fact. I mean, think about it. You, you go sit down with your guidance counselor when you're 16, 17 years old. They ask you what you want to do with your life, and they're still showing you the same old sheet, right? <laughs> uh, engineer, electrician, plumber, dentist, the doctor, right? Anything that pays you six figures or more, which is only like maybe a couple things on that list. I mean, living on six figures is difficult today, right? That used to be the pinnacle that you would run to. But to, to make a six-figure income in society right now is very difficult. Difficult, right? They're, they're trying to ask you what you want to do with your whole life when you're 16, 17 years old. All you can concentrate is, you know, what you're going to do with your girlfriend on Friday night or your boyfriend on Friday night. And they want you to make those decisions. And, you know, they teach you ultimately what to think. And then you go to college, they teach you when to think, right? And then you kind of go with this whole entire mindset of this is the rest of my life. And here's what's going on. Uh, there's people that are making millions of dollars in their pajamas <laughs> that have zero degrees that haven't spent any money on school. Right. And it's this exact same, you know, uh, uh, you know, that you saw it in the crypto wave, right? Everybody, when they got in the, the early crypto wave, right. The early Bitcoin adopters, all that stuff, right. If you, if you understand what's happening and how we're shifting and how wealth is transferring, you know, people talk about a recession recession is nothing other than a transfer of wealth. Right. And I'm going to tell you right now, they're not telling you how to capitalize on a recession in the school system right now. Right. So financial illiteracy, I would say, is probably the biggest pandemic that has ever hit society. And I think that ever will hit society. And there's a reason for it. Right. They, they want us to stay dumbed down. Right. Because if we stay dumbed down, Travis, I mean, ultimately, that's how they keep the handcuffs on us. We, we, we remain dependent. That's we right. remain dependent. And, you know, you know, they've done a really good job of, of teaching us how to become, um, you know, make, how to make money, but they haven't taught us how to manage money and ultimately how to multiply money. And that's essentially what we are doing and what we're offering through the educational services that we provide. You know, I want to just talk for a moment about just what's going on in the world today. You know, we look at the stock market, lost $9 trillion last year. People's 401ks are going to 301ks. If you look at you know, the, the the confidence right now from larger investors and and just in general, the, the financial market stability risk indicator in 2023, do you guys realize that the current reading is below that seen during the Great Recession and the dot-com bubble? So confidence across the board right now is not looking very good uh, when it comes to institutional money, when it comes to, you know, most of the the, you know, the top wealth management firms that are out there today, the, the buying power of the dollar. Let's talk about that. In 1971, they had to have gold for every single dollar that they printed. And today, <laughs> well, they removed the gold standard in 1971. And, and, and what's happened to the dollar since that time? I mean, it's just gone I mean, lost, what, 86% of its value since that time. And, and we continue to print more and more and more money. And, and I'm just going to say this. If you don't, 
understand what's happening right now at the at the banking level, at the Federal Reserve level, and you don't really understand what they're doing to you and your savings, then you are missing you're missing something that's very important, which is they are wrecking your savings. You know, they are printing money and printing money and printing money. And unfortunately, you go to work. We've been taught, Corey, to save as much money as we can, right? So that we can retire one day. Well, if I'm doing that and all I'm doing is saving money, am I going to be able to get ahead in this environment? Zero chance. If you think about this, right, what do they say? The the cost of, uh, or inflation is going up, what, they say 9% or something like that. They don't factor in the cost of living into there, right? Yeah. It's more like 29%, right? You go buy a gallon of milk lately, right? A loaf of bread, a bottle of water, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? I was actually watching Roy's uh, presentation last night. He was talking about a bottle of water is almost more than gasoline nowadays, right? If you actually look at the value. So this guys, listen to this. 80% of the entire money supply has been printed in the last two years. Crazy. How is that sustainable, right? I remember back in 2016, we were 114% over our GDP. That was double the amount of the rest of the world combined. Where are we going to be at in another two years, right? So, you know, ultimately, there is access to information during these times that you could ultimately capitalize to maybe prevent some of that damage that that happens out there, right? And ultimately, that's that's for you to decide. But, you know, obviously, I think when when things get ugly, Travis, I'm sure you've experienced this in, in life and in business, right? It's like when things get ugly in the world, if you're on the right side of the information, things can get really good. Well, think about 2008 and 2009. I unfortunately was on the wrong side of the boat back then. Um, we had owned some health clubs earlier on and sold those, moved to Utah. And, you know, I decided to get involved in real estate. So we started buying lots and then we started building homes. And uh, we had four homes being built right in the, the mid 2008. And then somebody started talking about subprime loans, not performing well on Wall Street, who was part of that experience. And uh, so, you know, those homes that we were building for, you know, X amount of dollars ended up being worth about 30% on the dollar. And, uh, but on the flip side of the coin, there was somebody that was sitting and positioning themselves because of their education, because of their knowledge, waiting for that moment. And I can tell you the homes that I, I had four homes that we were building right at around the $800,000 range. They were appraised at about 1.3 to 1.5. That's what our net profits would have been on those homes. We sold them for 300,000. I had no choice. And so, um, but there was somebody on the other side of that coin that bought those homes for 300,000, right? So it's all about developing income producing assets and, and, and developing and acquiring enough revenue that you can position yourself and look for those type of opportunities. And as Corey, you, you're mentioning right now, you know, as things are falling, I mean, I was reading just, just today, you guys realize that the debt, the consumer or, or national debt right now is as high as it was during the Great Depression, high interest rates, even car prices right now are leading to record loans and record debt. They're saying that as much as 17% of the car loans that have been given out in the last 24 months are right on the verge of being delinquent and seriously delinquent. Think about that for a moment. Why? Because people are going into debt. They're struggling. The, their dollar is not going as far. And, and in, in addition to that, you're looking at about 43% of the average household income to pay your a mortgage right now if you were to go and buy a home, just the average home in the United States today. So guys, there's clearly... We've, we, the, the society and the system is broken. And, and that's really why this company was created. Again, it's to teach you not only help to, to learn how to make money, but again, to, to manage that money. It's one thing, and I've been there before, you know, I've, you know, I've, I've learned how to make money. And for, for a very good period of time, I would say 10 to 15 years, I was good at two things, making money and spending money. Like I could spend it as fast as I made. It was actually really impressive, Corey. I don't, I mean, it was, it was like, I would go back at the end of a month and I'd be like, where did all my money go? <laughs> so what, is, what does it cost per month? I'll take yeah, that. Like, what, what is that. going I'll on here? That. Anybody ever done that before? Like, I was really good at making it. I was really, it's a talent, a special talent, I'm telling you guys. But it's a whole other thing when you start to make money and then you have to start making choices about, okay, how do I manage this money? I have money now coming in. Where do I put it? Like, what do I do with it? How do, do I develop, where do I develop the, the greatest returns? How do I put that money to work for me? And then ultimately multiplying that money. And that's where IX Global came from. You know, that was our foundation. We started, uh, Joe Martinez started this company in 2020, uh, generated over 4.6 million in revenue. And, and that, guys, was right at the peak of COVID. 
um, in the first six months of, of, of you know, launching the business right in mid-2020, 2021, generated $22 million in sales, which is very respectful. They started in Salt Lake City, but he actually launched the business in India first. It's a really cool story. You know, he was a network marketer for 15, 16 years um, because of some decisions that were made at, at, in, his, in one of the companies he was a part of. CEOs sometimes have this magical superpower of making decisions that can sometimes affect us in the field in a, in a negative way, or you've never experienced that before, have you? I, I don't, I've never experienced that, right? But uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So he started the company, he had $6,000 to his name, and he had, a, he had spent two years as a consultant helping the company he was previously with launch India. And when he finally launched it and the business was starting to grow, uh, that company was acquired and the new owner came in and basically said, we're shutting down India. And he says, you can't do this. I just have spent all my time and resources. And the guy says, well, if you think you can do it better, do it yourself. And so he literally said, okay, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go get my own back office. I've got six grand and, and we're going to make this work. And so he launched the company. He had somebody that he believed in that that individual had not made more than $5,000 a month in network marketing. And uh, they launched the company. And in their third year, 2022, we just wrapped up uh, 206 million in revenue, guys. Fastest momentum company in the world. And by the way, that guy that had not made more than 5 million a month just, just about three years ago is now the number one income earner in the world in network marketing because of this company. So pretty cool story. And, and, and what's great is, is that we are now, look, at the end of the day, if you want to create time freedom. You know, I always talk about your financial freedom days, the day that you no longer have to trade time for dollars. You can do the things that you want to do rather than the things that you have to do. Well, how do you do that? It's all about developing passive stream. I think Travis is frozen. Is that just me, Corey? Oh, I thought it was me. <laughs> I thought I went out. My my internet just dinged. Um, he's actually controlling the slides here. Hold on, let me get, let me see if I can get him fixed. Oh, thank God, it's not me. Okay, he's rejoining. There you are, buddy. All right, we got you back. You're muted though. Still muted. All right, hold on. Let me let me fix you. There we go. All there right. You are. All Those right. of you that were, you guys were following my lips. You know what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened. I just, my signal must have just. I thought it was me. I thought my internet went out. I was like, oh, I no, did I too. I was like, calling on me. <laughs> so, bottom line is, is we've been looking for an additional revenue stream opportunity that we could introduce to the field. And Corey and I started talking a few months ago. Corey initially said, "What can we do to get these X nodes?" over at Driven Trading, and ultimately the collaboration was born, the idea of that collaboration, and here we are. And we are so excited about introducing Driven Trading, just the same way that many of you are introduced to, uh, excited about the notes. I've been talking all day, so my words aren't working anymore. But Corey, I want to ask you specifically, can Losing you again, buddy. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get him booted up here. Alex, can you hear me okay? Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, I think it's on his end. All right, guys, just give us one second here. I'm going to get him reconnected here. I know. Look at him. He's, it looks like he's crying here. <laughs> so, guys, while we're waiting for Travis to come on here, um, you know, what Travis was probably getting ready to say is that, you know, one of the things that, you know, we're really excited to announce is that, you know, as, as we started to look at 
uh, ways to really grow and impact people, right? We, we first and foremost, I, I want to I give my hat off, you know, to uh, Mr. Joe Martinez, because the guy to start a company that just has done over $206 million in its third year in business, starting that company with only $6,000 in his pocket is truly remarkable, guys. Shows a testament of how good of a CEO that is. Just want you guys to know, so we started Driven Trading back in April of 2022, and you know, I put over $2 million into that company, $2 million to get it to the point of now where we are collaborating, $2 million, right? So it's like to start a company with $6,000 and grow to $200 million in three years should be a testament to how good of a CEO Mr. Joe Martinez is. So when I reached out to Travis back in October and I said, Travis, listen, and I'm looking for a product that I can offer my community. Travis and I have been really good friends for a long time. I knew he would shoot me straight. And he said, let me see what I can do. So ultimately, we went back and forth on how ultimately I was going to be able to offer the X nodes that you're about to learn about. And it's one of the most incredible, impressive things I've ever seen and I've ever been a part of in my life. But one of the things that we did, we said, hey, listen, Corey, at the same time that you're looking to bring these into your community, we are really looking to up the game in the trading space. See, guys, most people out in the world... Uh, any type of education system that you've ever seen in the financial markets where they're trying to teach you Forex or binary options or anything like that, right? They're selling you the idea of making money in the financial markets, but they don't actually do it, right? You're learning from people that don't actually do it. What I wanted to do is a little bit different, right? I wanted to put together a team that I could run like a Wall Street hedge fund. By the way, I've been in the private equity space for the last seven years. I had a top 1% grossing portfolio, one of the largest brokers in the world, four consecutive years in the top 15,000 of profitable portfolios in the futures market, S&P 500. And I was ultimately living my life behind a computer screen, making rich people richer. That's, that's how I spent my life. And I got very wealthy doing it, right? Ferrari in the garage, the million dollar home, I had all of the things that you, know, you would, you would uh, uh, see from somebody who was like that, but I was miserable, right? My life sucked, right? <laughs> You know, when you when you interact with your computer every day and that's your whole life, right? There's no purpose and no passion. So, you know, in 2020, when I came back into this industry, serving people, teaching, coaching, uh, I did it really out of necessity. I saw so many people falling uh, victim to these scam trading operations where none of these people had ever even made money in the financial markets, yet they're teaching you how to do this. This isn't something where you sign up and you stock a whole bunch of product in your shelf right? This isn't one of those things where they sell you in the juice business and you have a whole bunch of juice that you now have in your shelf. This is people's 401ks, IRAs, money that a lot of times if they're trusting you, they will lose everything. And I got sick of seeing it. So we decided to go out there and do it ourselves, putting together a world-class trading team. And we run that team like a Wall Street hedge fund, right? They have to maintain 60% win rate, average it out every 90 days on contract. If they lose three positions in a row, they have to get permission and get mentored before they take that next position. We have a robust academy, crypto, options, futures, right? Anything that it trades, we trade it. And we trade our live accounts. You log in 10 hours a week with me, I'm trading my live TD Ameritrade account. You can't fake that, right? You can't see you can see that it's real-time data you see the wins you see the losses you see the transparency we teach you everything we know we're not the company that's going to come out there and say hey listen we're just going to give you this much and make you pay twenty five thousand dollars to get the rest we give it all to you all of it because we truly want to change people's lives we wanted to build a company that stood firm on developing a world-class trading education product a world-class trading education product. That was our mission, to teach people how to make money in the financial markets. The X nodes and the commodity-backed crypto operation was just us adding icing on the cake for the driven community. And as we kind of sat down and came together, Joe and I and Travis really facilitated all of this, right? So hats off to Travis. We really uh, uh, came to something very special, right? That, that we were on the exact same path. We're all friends. Why are we competing against each other? Why won't we just merge this, right? You run the trading side of this business. We will run the X note side of this business. And together we unify these teams, these organizations, these communities of people that are hungry to do more, to be more, to become more in life. And we can achieve it build the most powerful trading education platform in the world. We got, uh, you know, two series three licensed educators, series 65. You know, I'm actually going for my series 31 now, right? Adding another securities license. So these are, these are people that do this for a living that manage massive 
money, right? Hedge funds, portfolios, right? People that come out of Wall Street, right? That, that work in our trading team. And we have it in multiple languages as well. And we're going to be adding more languages as we move down uh, uh, this path. And especially now here with, uh, you know, IX Global, I'm sure we're going to be launching in the Hindi soon. And, you know, I know we have an Arabic educator that's looking to join us right now, a Mandarin educator that, that we're evaluating right now. So we are about keeping a small team that's extremely efficient, that are the world-class educators and, and, and the pioneers in their space, what they trade. And, and this isn't just one of those things where you're only trading Forex, right? Like, for example, I trade the S&P 500 E-mini futures market, right? You can trade a self-directed portfolio with those things. We teach you everything that we know. And then multiple days a week, right? Six days a week, multiple times per day, we show you how to apply everything that you're learning in real time to the markets where you get to see exactly where we get in, exactly how we get out, right? Exactly how to enter that trade, exactly how to manage your risk, how to calculate your risk, everything, right? From, from I've never looked at a chart before in my entire life to the most advanced education you could possibly imagine. We got it all, right? We got it all. And we also have technologies that we have developed and that we are currently developing that will help you earn money while you're learning the skill. It doesn't get more powerful than that. So we're really excited to be able to offer driven trading to the IX global community. And I know together, uh, we're going to achieve that $500 million goal this year and beyond. But I want you to know this, and I want you to ask yourself this question, what does that look like for you and your family? Because it doesn't matter what we're going to go out and achieve, what does it mean for you? Okay. So, you know, as Travis, Travis comes back on here and starts positioning you guys to understand how powerful the rest of this model is, I want you guys to ask yourself this, this question as you're going through the rest of this presentation tonight. If not this, then what? Like, what is your plan B? Because things are changing, whether you want them to change or not, things are changing. There's not going to be too much you can do to stop it. It's happening. There has never been a better time in history to learn information that can position you to capitalize on what's happening. And this, I truly believe, based on all my business experience and with an unbiased opinion, right, with unbiased. This is the best opportunity that I have seen for the average ordinary person to win extremely big, extremely big, but it is going to require work and it's going to require time. You're going to have to put some energy into it. You're going to have to learn some new things, but you're going to have to get a little uncomfortable just for a little bit to become comfortable for the rest of your life, right? It's a short amount of time that you will apply to this and you will get results for the rest of your life. I don't think there's any skill more essential to the American dream or any dream in the world than learning how to make money with your money. I truly, I truly believe that. I stand by that quote. That's a quote that I, I said right when we launched this company. I truly believe there's no skill more essential to the American dream or any dream for that matter than learning how to make money with your money. Travis, would you yeah. agree on that? Or do we got you back here, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, well said. Had to switch over routers. <laughs> Not sure what's going on in uh, Queen Creek, Arizona today, but um, no, I, I think what you said was perfect. And I and I love when you talked about just learning a new new skill. I think that as we get older, we tend to start settling, right? I've observed that people tend to start settling in. They start to accept that maxed out credit cards and broken dreams are the norm, right? They start lowering yep. their expectations. And I think that just like water, when we tend to stop learning and stop growing and stop pursuing, we start to get stale and um, you know, whenever we are are learning and pursuing and, and we're, we're stepping outside of our comfort level, that's ultimately when we're growing the most, most. And that's what we, that's why we're here on this earth. And so I agree with you. There is no more powerful skill to learn than how to manage your money. So I, I want to ask you one question about the trading before we go on, because I know there's a lot of people that are watching tonight. We've got a great audience. You've done a great job of explaining what sets driven trading apart. Help me understand for somebody that's a novice, somebody like me, right? I, I've never really gotten involved in trading. And I think that some might even say, gosh, it seems intimidating. You know, I see a bunch, Corey, people will say to me, do you see the candlestick? Do you see it? I'm like, no, I just see a bunch of lines <laughs> that are going up and down, right? So like, you see things that we don't see. And so one of the questions that somebody asked is, hey, look, I don't have a lot of time. And, and, and yes, I would like to learn this, but man, what if I just wanted a trader to do the trading I, I, don't, I don't want them to do trading for me. I know that that's illegal and you can't have any type of systems that just do execute the trade on my behalf. But is there something that I could just initiate, like something simple, really easy that I could follow what they're doing? And man, if I'm and, and they're doing well and I know that they're skilled, I'd rather them be making those decisions and ultimately me just making the decision to be able to do the same thing. So talk to me a little bit about that. 
Yeah, so uh, you know, one of the things that we've developed, and actually there might be a slide for this, Travis, if you want to just go maybe one more forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we've actually developed an application, actually, maybe it's not, not in here yet, but we developed an application that gives you the idea to see what's in our minds at all times. So it looks like this on your phone. Okay. So when you go into your phone and you log into this application, you're going to actually see, uh, it's like having a, a professional trader mentor in your pocket, telling you what to do next, right? We're giving you all of the ideas of what we're looking at in the market in real time, every single day. And when we send those out, like, for example, I took a trade today on S&P 500 long after the big sell-off and liquidation happened from the Fed speech, right? You don't have to know all that stuff. Because what I did is I sent out a signal of exactly where I was entering the market, exactly what my uh, profit targets are, and exactly where the trade fails in case it goes the other way. And ultimately, there's these copy buttons. You can copy and paste that right into your broker, however you want to do it for learning experiences, of course. But ultimately, you're following along with what we're doing in the market in real time every single day from every single one of our traders. We also have artificial intelligence and we have uh, some other technology that we do have that is available with the application. Um, we will work through legality and different things like that with attorneys to see what part of that we can turn on, but we actually can fully automate it. Now, obviously in the United States and certain countries that is not legal. So we do have to get some legal compliance on that, but we do have the ability to, right? And there might be some approval processes that we can go through in the United States where maybe you just approve it and confirm it, right? Those are things that we're going to be meeting about, but we do have it. We actually really released it to our community in April, gave everybody a little taste of it. And it's a full trade management software. So not only does it execute right on your behalf, but it fully manages the position for you, peeling off percentages of profits as the market's going up or going down, right? So it's like having a professional trader in your pocket, but it's software, right? So just like Xnodes is software, right? It's, it's, it's software. So we're going to see how much of that code we can actually introduce to the application. But as of right now, you're going to see the performance records of every single trader that we have. And you're talking about traders that do 50,000, 60,000 pips a year, right? 50,000, 60,000 pips with maybe 2,000 pips negative per year, right? These are, these are big time traders that are trading big boy markets, NASDAQ, S&P 500, you know, uh, uh, Hong Kong markets and, you know, DAX and, you know, FTSE, like all the big boy markets that you can actually trade with any type of portfolio that you have. So it's not just Forex for us. We focus on a lot of the bigger markets. We do have Forex educators as well. And we have probably one of the top, arguably binary options traders in the world that actually trades Nadex, which is compliant, <laughs> right? So you don't have to worry about getting your money lost in all those offshore brokers, right? This is real stuff that we're doing. I think you went on like a 95% uh, win rate over the last six months. We have his, oh, his results uh, published all over the place, but he's incredible. So if you guys want to learn that stuff, we got it. Uh, and our crypto educator, world-class as well, from spot trading, derivatives trading, all of it, we got it covered. So we're excited to have everybody tune in to Driven and tune into our lives. And you know, you can access it right now in your back office. So as soon as you get started, as soon as you get plugged in, you can access the product and we're giving it to everybody. Travis, I'll let you kind of, you know, maybe give it that little teaser as we go through. Uh, it's not $25,000 like, uh, you know, the big brokers in the world want to yeah. charge for the education, right? It's very reasonable. And it's ultimately about giving as much value as we can to really maximize our output and, and really hit people all around the world from all different walks of life to truly impact them. Outstanding. Well, people are fired up about it. You can get it in the back office of IX Global if you're an active member. It is now in your add-ons. Once they add it, um, Corey, there'll be, I imagine, some level of an invitation that gets them plugged in or something that kind of gets them to that next step once they add the driven trading, right? So the team is working on all of those things and, and connecting the dots. Aaron, I asked that question for you. So I know he's on here and he's like, I don't have time to learn it. Is there just, can I just trust Corey and these guys and just do what they're doing? So anyways, I'm excited about that. Let's talk a little bit about, let's shift gears for a moment now. A little bit about another um, fantastic software that, um, was recently brought to the table in 2022 that absolutely just rocked, absolutely rocked the entire industry and uh, even in the world. You know, we've we've now, you know, we've got something like 65 countries and hundred, you know, hundreds of millions of licenses that have millions of licenses that have been sold. It's been uh, it's been exciting to be a part of bringing this to market here in the United States. And I want to just share a little story with you. So. You know, for those of you that have not heard of debt, um, debt, when I first heard those words, Corey, I was like, debt, that's kind of an interesting name. Like debt is a, it kind of has, I, I have associated with as a negative connotation, right? 
And so when I realized and understood what they were doing, debt is about helping people to get out of debt. How many of you know somebody that's going to go to bed tonight saying a prayer asking for financial solutions? Raise your hand. Drop an eye in the comment section. Every single one of you, right? Every single one of you. You see, the thing is, is that as we continue to go into debt, we become a slave to debt. And as we become a slave to debt, unfortunately, you know, we, we no longer are in control of the decisions that we make in our lives, because at the end, of the end of the day, we have to make sure that we work really, really hard, make that money, and the money that we could put to work for us that would give us ultimately freedom goes to paying the interest, right? And then we end up in that vicious circle, and it's a downward spiral, especially right now. And so what debt is doing is they're helping people to get out of debt around the world. You know, these this is a company that was established 15 years ago or 15 years in the making, I should say. And uh, it's a really, really cool story because Jason and Jake Anderson just have a remarkable background. First of all, Jason Anderson comes from, you know, venture capital, raising funds, managed to hedge fund. You know, he, he jokes now and he says, you know, as an early claim to fame as he got involved in Bitcoin when it was $100 per coin. Can you imagine that today, getting in at $100 a coin? Maybe there's some people that were on here that did that. And then he sold at $500 a coin and he brought all of his investors with him. And they thought he was a genius when he had 5X their money until, until what happened, right? Bitcoin, we all have that story, right? At some point, some of us heard of Bitcoin somewhere along that 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 continued, you know, scaling up. And uh, so, you know, that was kind of his first introduction to cryptocurrency. He immediately was fascinated and fell in love with crypto. Why? Because it was decentralized. It was getting the banks out of the middle of our transactions, right? It was allowing, you know, Corey and I to be able to do a transaction, a peer-to-peer -peer transaction, the way that it was intended without somebody looking over our shoulder and saying, well, what's this for? Why are you doing this? And, and even now, you know, some of you have experienced this, but banks, I mean, guys, how many of you love walking into a bank and making a deposit? Let's say that you happen to have a little bit of cash and they want to know exactly where that money came from. How many of you love sending a wire to somebody and them scrutinizing you about what that wire is about and holding on to your funds? You know, I was trying to send somebody funds overseas and it was a decent amount of money. And I'm telling you, it was like interrogation, Corey. It was like third party, you know, third degree interrogation. And not only that, but you know, then they, they, when they finally decided to send it, it takes a couple of days and they're charging me a tremendous amount of money. And, and here's the deal. I turn around and I sent the same amount of money and I sent it in crypto and it arrived within 30 seconds and it cost me about 30 cents. So here's the deal. Crypto is faster. It's more efficient. It's cheaper. And that is the reason why cryptocurrency is the future. 4% of the population state currently owns a cryptocurrency wallet. Now that's exciting in a period of what, about 12 years. That's super exciting. But I don't even know if I would say we're we're still in the disruption phase, right? We I don't even know if we've truly entered even the early early adoption. I can't talk early adoption phase. We are right now and, and still in those early stages. And I can tell you this. Here's the exciting thing: it's going to go from four percent to ten percent over the course of the next one to two years. Four percent to ten percent. Think about that growth, Corey. My question is: what is going to be the catalyst? What is going to be the catalyst that moves that number from 4% to 10%? What are your thoughts? Well, I think uh, one of the biggest reasons why people haven't gotten involved in Bitcoin yet, right, for the people who haven't, is they think that every, Bitcoin needs to be backed by something, right? Well, what's Bitcoin backed by? But they don't understand their dollar is not backed by anything. But that's ultimately the number one thing that you probably hear is, well, Bitcoin's not backed by anything. It's Fugazi. Well, mm -hmm. you know, so is a dollar in your pocket. But what if you had cryptocurrency that was actually backed by substance, real tangible assets like commodities, like oil, like natural gas, like gold, like real estate? What if you could actually back currency with real world assets that have real world value? I think uh, it will go beyond 10% with, with what that is doing, to be honest. Well, and that's exactly what debt has done is they are the first in the world to introduce an ecosystem where every single cryptocurrency is backed by real world assets that are in high demand. And, and let's think about this for a moment. You know, let's just go back to the last bull run. The last bull run was, was driven by a lot of hype, a lot of speculation. You had coins that have cute little puppies and dogs and all these things that are on them. Many of them have absolutely no utility. And I'm gonna tell you something right now, a true asset should not fluctuate 80 to 90% because Elon Musk tweets about it or because Kim Kardashian tweets about it. Right. And so what we've seen is, is, is a lot of this manipulation in the industry. And it's one of the key reasons why 
there's only 4% of the world that currently has a cryptocurrency wallet. So what is going to be the catalyst that moves that forward, Corey? You're exactly right. It is substance over hype. It is tangibility over speculation. And that is exactly what Debtbox has introduced. And I'm even more excited that IX Global has become the exclusive direct selling wholesaler for Debtbox. What does that mean? It means that if you want to go pay retail, you can go buy licenses directly from debt for more money. You can buy the same exact licenses from us for wholesale, and you will not find them anywhere else in the entire world. So back in June, IX Global created this partnership. We introduced these nodes, and uh, the world just absolutely went crazy. It absolutely went crazy. So Jason and Jake Anderson, are the, as well as Roy Nelson and Chad Brannon, they are the founders of the company. Uh, this is your debt council that ultimately is, is making decisions on behalf of debt. A lot of people don't know this, Corey, but the reality is, is that we've just introduced voting rights within our, our community. And the reason why they've done that is because this is something that they don't want there to be a start or an end, and they don't want it to, you know, to ultimately die with them. They want it to continue to go on and on for generations to come. And so at the end of the day, they want the node holders to be the ones that are making the decisions on behalf of debt. And so that's the reason why we've introduced voting rights, which I think is very, very important uh, because it's essentially like, I liken it to almost shareholders in a way where we have the ability to be able to have say in, in where we go and ultimately even what projects that are introduced next. And so I really enjoy that. But Jake and Jake Anderson, Jason's background is in financial services. Uh, Jake Anderson came more from the marketing side and, and, and sales side of things. Roy and Chad Brannon had been heavily involved in, in the, the physical mining world for the last uh, 20 years, mining things like gold and oil and, and diamonds. And they introduced a new technology that has the ability to be able to scan the earth and identify commodities that are in the ground. And when I say identify them, we're not talking about, okay, you know, within a quarter of a mile area, we know that the gold is somewhere over there. We have the ability to pinpoint to within a few feet where these commodities are in the ground. You know, the same way that an MRI is kind of reading the frequencies, what we're doing is, is we're identifying the frequencies that are coming off of these different commodities, these different elements. You know, for example, um, copper has a different frequency than gold. Gold puts off a different frequency than oil. And so we have the ability to be able to pick up those frequencies and we can tune out all of the other frequencies and hone in on what it is that we are looking for. Now, you can imagine the value to an exploratory company, you know, that spends hundreds of millions of dollars, in many cases, digging wells, that 50% 50 or more of them are dry, trying to identify exactly where the oil is or where to enter into a, a chamber to, to maximize the extraction process of natural gas. And so, you know, they came up with the idea to be able to shift sides instead of being the actual people that are out there mining, what if they made the mining, they made the mining industry that much more efficient? And so they started providing these services to mining companies, and they have now become the Uber of the mining industry. And what do I mean by that? Well, Uber is the largest transportation company in the world that has no vehicles, right? You have VRBO's largest vacation company in the world that has no vacation homes. In the same way, what they have done is they have now become the facilitator to all kinds of different exploratory companies. And as a result of that, we are receiving royalties. Those royalties are ultimately supporting the value of all of the projects that we have. You've had a chance to meet these guys, Corey. What was your impression when you you sat down with Jason and Jake, and you you've had a chance to be able to to listen to Roy and Shad? What were what was your impression? Well, first of all, I got to say, man, I sat sat at the table with a lot of sharp people, right? A lot of really sharp people in my life. I've been very blessed and fortunate to you know work with people in in billionaire status, right? And work with people that have made seven eight billion dollars. So, um, when I, uh, you know, started to really just evaluate this project as a whole, you know, obviously the very first thing that I'm sure you came up with your mind or anybody really comes up with is, well, this can't be real. <laughs> like, like, come on, man. Like I even saw one of the comments said, you know, I know somebody who tried to back uh, crypto with gold a couple of years ago. I, I mean, I know people who've tried to do it too yeah. unsuccessfully. Right. So the very first thing for me was, well, I got to see if this is real. Cause if this is real. And I know my buddy Travis is not going to be shouting from the rooftops about this company if he hasn't found something out, right? So I got to go find it out. And I'm going to tell you right now, I sat down with these guys and I was blown away. Uh, I thought I met a lot of smart people in my life. But when I sat down with these guys, I mean, they're playing in a whole different league. Uh, I don't know what goes on in the brains of, uh, uh, of them, right? I have no idea. But they've been in this game for a long time. They're very seasoned. They are 
uh, arguably probably the top crypto authorities, I believe, in the world. I, I, I mean, I have not met with anybody uh, smarter. I've sat down in the VIP lounges at some of the biggest crypto conferences in the world. I have not sat, sat down with any gentlemen that have been smarter than these guys right here. And what they're doing is uh, truly remarkable. That's that's my opinion. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And, and the fact that they have been able to you know pioneer this technology and and really there's we are light years ahead of anybody else you know one of the questions that often comes up is do we are we the only ones that have this technology well there is one other company that's in Europe that has a similar technology that they're not even using right now and we are light years ahead when it comes to the relationships that we've established throughout the world uh, for example in Ghana now it is law by law, if you're going to drill in that country, you have to use our satellite technology. Why? Because it helps prevent strip mining and destroying their land. Because with our technology, we have the ability to precisely be able to identify these different commodities and even prevent, you know, these villages, you know, these cocoa that where, where these these people have lived on their cocoa farms for the last 200 years. And, and, and prior to this, you had, you know, Chinese that would come in, for example, and they would literally strip mine the land. They didn't care. They would uproot a, an entire village and farm just to be able to get to the commodities. And, and unfortunately, and sadly, that was happening. And so, you know, we've made a tremendous impact as a result of this technology. Um, with that technology on the physical side, we, you know, we're probably the only company in the world that has, we're doing mining both physically as well as digitally. And so we decided because of the relationships that we have and because of the royalties that come in, and we're going to break that down here in just a moment so that you understand that a little bit more, you know, we thought, what if we were the first in the world to really bring a cryptocurrency to the market that was truly backed by a real world commodity that's in high demand? Now, some of you say, well, you know, I heard a couple of years ago, some people tried to, you know, back a coin by gold. Well, here's the thing, you know, we all could go right now and we could lease a gold mine. We can lease an, a gold mine that um, they are now selling leases to because it doesn't make financial sense to go and extract the gold out of the ground for whatever reason, because of maybe the sediment that it's in or because of the difficulty that it would take. It would actually cost more money to be able to go and remove the gold. And so essentially that gold in that well um, is, is it's, it has very little value. And so what do they do? They start selling leases. Now, if I bought a lease, Corey, I could go out and I, you and I, we could launch our own token tomorrow. And guess what? We could back it with. We could back it with gold. We could back it with, <laughs> right? Gold that is in the ground that's never been extracted. So um, there's a big difference between something along those lines and essentially what we're doing here. And I'm going to break it down a little further in so that you truly understand what's, what makes us different. But we launched Black Gold as our first token. And it's been about 15 months ago now, and uh, this was backed by the royalties that were coming in from the crude oil sales from our many different oil partners that we had around the world. And Corey people went crazy. They absolutely went crazy because why? Because they're so tired of these meme coins and pump and dumps and these, these rug pulls that have been happening over and over again, that the moment that they saw some level of tangibility, they said, this is something that I want to be a part of. And so you know, in, in the early days, um, you know, BGLD, when it first launched, it was it was a couple thousand dollars per license, and it was producing about 40,000 tokens per day. And one of the benefits of getting involved in projects when they first launch is that you are one of the early adopters onto the network, which means that the payouts of tokens is much higher. Now, that may sound like a lot of tokens, but guys, that was about three to four dollars per day. Well, somebody might say, well, gosh, you know, I don't know, three to four dollars a day. I mean, for two thousand dollar investment, it's going to take me X amount of days to be able to get to the point where I'm breaking even. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. Well, if you continue to do the math over the course of the next fifty hundred years, it's actually it does make sense even at that level. But here's what happened. So even though it was only about three dollars a day, fast forward three, four, five, and six months, BGLD went up one hundred and twenty thousand percent. Mind you, this was during a time where the rest of the cryptocurrency industry was absolutely crashing. It created, at that point in time, when I got involved in June, they had created a seven-figure portfolio holder every three days inside of their ecosystem. Why? Because of tangibility, because of substance, because of real-world value. You know, I've always known, Corey, the moment that somebody tokenized a commodity, fortunes would be made. And what I mean by that is, you know, we've seen a lot of the hype and the speculation and all of these things, but I've always thought, man, if somebody were to back a, a token or a coin the same way that the dollar used to be backed by gold, meaning they wouldn't even print 
a dollar. They wouldn't even you know, have a coin that comes into circulation without the equivalent backing it with an actual commodity. That's when fortunes would be made. And that's exactly what happened with black gold. Yeah, you know, and I, I, I look at the 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 story behind this, Travis, and one of the things that was super impressive to me is to see, well, why do oil companies partner with these guys? Like, you know, I I, I don't get it. Like, what makes it so special? And you know, one of the things that I, I saw in that new uh, interview that you just posted recently, I think is a, a really powerful case to mention. You know, these oil companies spend millions and millions, tens of millions of dollars trying to just locate oil, right? There's a project that was out in Ghana that took these guys, these guys were three years into production on this mine with $15 million invested, and they just started to mine that oil. These guys, Roy Nelson, the debt partners, right, with their connections with the, the scan technology, they could have had that project ready to go in six weeks for probably 750000 to a $1 million. So you can imagine when these oil companies are saving tens of millions of dollars by using these guys and these companies. They don't have to be the miners. They don't have to be the experts like Western oil and stuff. They just partner with them and say, we'll find it. And you just give us a royalty. We'll save you all of this money on the front end. And you give us a little kicker on the back end. And here was another thing that was really interesting to me too, Travis, when we went out to, you know, uh, Utah and I sat down with these guys, I said, well, how do you know that like Nebraska, for example, where one of the biggest, you know, mines are what Travis will show here in a little bit. I said, how do you know they're going to pay you? And he's like, our contract isn't with mm -hmm. the oil mine. Our contract is with the state of Nebraska. Like we get our money direct. Like this is a real legitimate thing. And I was like, and you have 16, 17, 18 of these and a hundred, 200 more that you're processing right now. Like, wow. 120,000% is very minute in my opinion, in my opinion of what this project is going to be. Right. And, and you can just see that the tokenomics and where these guys brains are any project that these guys are behind. I mean, I, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I'm like, man, if they can figure that out, why can't they figure it out with natural gas and aluminum and all these other resources, right? They already figured it out with the big dog. I think everything else to follow is going to be, in my opinion, speculatively, of course, um, huge upside potential. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And, and one thing that I love is, is that when they launch a project, Corey, there's a set amount of licenses, there's a set amount of tokens that will ever go into circulation. And that'll never be changed. So what does change? Well, when we launched Black Gold, there was only you know, a certain amount of wells that were online at the time. Since then, as you just mentioned, we have hundreds of wells that are now in processing that are coming online in 2023. But they're not going to go back and say, we're going to add more licenses now. We're not, they're not going to go back and say, we're going to add more tokens into circulation. It's not like the dollar. They don't have a flexible approach, right? Where they just keep printing more and more and more money. So at the end of the day, and we lost them. <laughs> Travis must be having internet problems. You know, uh, oh, here he comes. We got him back. Travis, you there, buddy? I think he's just getting connected. Well, we bring in so much energy, we keep crashing Zoom. That's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. Good problem to have. So while, Tra while Travis is getting connected here, I actually don't have the slide deck pulled up, guys. So um, we're going to wait for him to pop up. But, you know, I want to just mention one more thing about this project that I think is really cool, right? So people always say, well, how, how does the actual oil back the project? Like, I want to understand how it backs a project. And here's what happens, right? So you can imagine all the royalties from all these different projects coming in from all around the world, right? They have $800 million in contracts in Ghana alone, uh, you know, Nevada, Nebraska, like all over Texas, right? A hundred more that are in process right now. As all that royalty money comes in, every single quarter, they take that money, it goes to a trust. And that trust's sole purpose for that specific project is to buy those tokens and burn them. They burn off that supply, which shrinks the supply, which therefore increases the demand. So as all those tokens are finally mined, right? You're mining, mining, mining those tokens with those licenses that were available. And think about it. That's a perpetual mining license of that token where the supply is consistently shrinking every single quarter. Imagine last year was like $37.5 million. This year is going to be well over $100 million. Can you imagine when they're burning a billion dollars a year in tokens from all of the royalties that are coming in from these projects? And that's just this one project, right? So you can imagine the same tech token 
tokenomics behind beverage, right? Beverages and, and consumables and credit card transactions and real estate transactions and natural gas and aluminum and iron and gold. Can you imagine that tokenomics where you could literally change and distribute wealth in a way that it's never done before in the history? See, that's what I saw when I sat down with these guys. These guys, I'm like, you know, you could look at them and say, well, why if this, you had all of this, why wouldn't you just keep it for yourself? Well, that's why I'm excited about being in business with them because they're just like Travis and I. Well, you know, when you get to a certain point in your life, you get fulfillment from helping other people get to those levels of achievement in life. That, that's ultimately what fulfills you and gives you drive. Their drive is to change the world, <laughs> to literally change the world and change the way we transact and create real sustainable value in what we're transacting with. This is, if you guys can see this, right, this vision like I see it, um, you'll really start to understand what you have your hands on, right? This is a very, very big, they're controlling and creating a whole new community that controls commerce. Think about how big that can be. Travis, yeah, we got you back? Yeah, we're, we're back. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with the the Wi-Fi here in uh, in Arizona tonight, but uh, struggling a little bit. But I want to talk for a moment about, and I want to get a little more into the tokenomics because that really is what separates us from everybody else. You know, a lot of people say to me, "Well, how do I know this is real? How do I know this is real?" Well, you know, we've there's so much footage out there now and video footage. We we've, we've been to the wells. We we've, we've documented. We've listened to the geologists that have de developed the technology. You know, this is just one example of one well, right? This is one of our earlier partners. Uh, this was a well in Nevada. They were trying to figure out where the oil was. They, they believed there was still oil there. It was a well that was drilled in the 50s and 60s. They thought that it had gone dry. You can see in the green was the areas they drilled in the 50s and 60s. We brought our satellites around. We scanned the land. You can see a 2D rendering here. You can see down below at different depths, there's different commodities that are in the ground. And uh, ultimately, and by the way, we can go two miles into the ground. So we can read literally two miles deep into the ground with our technology. The pink was chambers that they they were not able to find until now, and uh, we were able to help them find a 20 million barrel of oil chamber, enough to extract 5,000 barrels of oil a day. Now, my question is, is if you, do you think that an exploratory company would be happy to pay us a 5% royalty if we were to help them to go find a 20 million barrel of oil chamber they couldn't find on their own? That is the reason why we receive royalties. But what makes us different and what makes us unique it really comes down to supply and demand economics. Think about it for a moment. When you have a, a large supply and a low demand, what happens to price? It stays flat or it, it goes down, right? What happens to price if you have a low inventory and you have a very, very high demand? Well, it tends to go up, right? Look at the housing market over the last couple of years. You had very low inventory, very high demand. What happened to the prices? So in that same way, how we are different is every single project that we have has an underlying asset. As Corey mentioned earlier, imagine each one of these these projects as a separate company, if you will, and each company has a trust and that trust has one sole responsibility. It is to take the royalties that come in from our different partners and buy up coins that are in circulation. That's it. And send them to a burn wallet. Now, why would they do that? Every four years, Bitcoin has a halving. What happens during that halving event? They're taking half of the tokens or coins that are in circulation. They're sending them to a burn wallet. Historically speaking, that having has triggered new all-time highs, not only in Bitcoin, it has actually led to new bull runs in the entire cryptocurrency space. Here's the problem. The problem is this. Every four years, we go through a having. We reach all-time highs. People are excited. People that are in the know, people that are educated, make a lot of money. The rest of the people, you know what they do? It, Corey, it blows my mind how many people are lining up to buy Bitcoin at 69,000, but when it's 17,000 or 23,000, they're like, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> I just don't know. It blows my mind, right? That's why being in the know, being in a community like this makes sense. So here's the thing. The problem is, is that Bitcoin hits a new all-time high. It starts to come down, and then it crashes. And we all sit there and look at Bitcoin for two years going, would you do something, please? Like, when's the next halving coming around? Well, what if, what if instead of every four years, we could somehow reduce that volatility in the marketplace? Right. Think about it. The reason why the masses don't want to come into crypto, people like my father are like, oh, way too volatile. I mean, I mean, it that dropped like 80 to 90 percent. Well, what if we could somehow reduce that volatility? Well, here's what's happening in the same way that that Bitcoin having where they're removing those tokens from circulation, they're reducing the supply as the demand grows. 
we're doing the same thing every single month, every single month. Because the royalties that come in, those market buyers that belong to that trust, they have one job. It's to buy up. I don't care if the price is high or the price is low. doesn't matter to them. Their job is to buy up as many tokens as they can every single month with the money that came in from those royalties and send it to a burn wallet. So what does that do? What do those royalties and those burns do? The overall utility of what we are doing here is to not only bring real world value that's supporting the value of every single project that we introduce, but it's to help reduce the volatility in the marketplace. Remember, remember what I talked about earlier, what's going to be the catalyst that moves that number from 4% to 10%? It's tangibility. It's less speculation. It's less BS that's out there in the marketplace. It's less hype. It's less Kardashians and, you know, the Paul brothers going out and, and getting paid to go promote these tokens and coins that behind the scenes, guess what? They've been given hundreds of millions of those coins and tokens to go pump them up. You know something else that's awesome for you about this ecosystem? Do you know that there is not one token that has been distributed, not one token that has ever entered into circulation without a miner, including the owners? There has never been a distribution of tokens where we say, hey, you know what, you're an owner, so hey, man, I'm going to give you, you know, 100 million of these coins. Yep, totally. Or you're a, you're a, you never see launch is 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 like that, right? You see these projects and they sell you the mining equipment for these projects and all of the owners are sitting there just waiting for you to get those miners working and produce those tokens and start transacting with those tokens and they're sitting there holding hundreds of millions of those tokens for themselves and that's why you see these coins go up and then crash. You exactly. are the pump on the pump by the way. You are the pump when you're hearing about it. <laughs> so don't fall for those out there, right? That, that's, uh, that's a bad thing. That's what makes us different in the marketplace. And not only that, but we're giving people that normally could have never participated in the minting process of bringing coins into circulation, the average person, the ability to now be able to participate. You know, it always, these people that say that timing doesn't matter in business, listen, timing is everything in business. Tiny is everything. Like I, I said this the other day, like, have you ever been to Disneyland? I'd rather be in the front of the line or the back of the line. Like, seriously, like, I don't want to be the guy that's going onto an exchange trying to figure out how to start a Coinbase account or a crypto.com account when Bitcoin's at 69,000 to go buy it. Mm -hmm. I want to be the person that created the token that went into circulation. Would you rather own the ATM that is distributing the dollar bill or the $20 bill or whatever it is and you're getting a $3 transaction fee every time somebody comes and gets money, or would you rather be on the other side and paying the $3 fee? That's what mining is. Very, very simple. At the end of the day, you are buying a license. You are buying software. That software allows you to be able to mine projects that are supported by real world assets that are in high demand. And guess what? You get paid in the token for those projects. And that token, you can do a few things with. You can hold on to it. You can cash it in every single day if you want to. You know, you can exchange it with inside of our, our, our system. But here's the beautiful thing. When you become a licensee, you get a software platform that is, it's like the Ferrari of this industry. You know, I, we're talking about driven. So we got to start throwing out some, some, some car analogies here. <laughs> it is the Ferrari of the industry. And, and I want to, for those of you that are node holders that are on here tonight, Drop some sevens in the chat, drop some fire in the chat. If you have a software back office and you agree with me that this is one of the, I don't know the right words, sexiest back office, one of the coolest back offices that I've seen. But what I mean about this, Corey, is that, you know, mining in the old days, you had to go buy expensive equipment. It usually only lasted for about 12 months. That was the shelf life of it. You had to be an engineer to hook it up. They lose you again, buddy. I think they lost him again. So ultimately, guys, what he's saying is he had to be an engineer to hook up mining equipment. Ultimately, you had to have huge warehouses, huge energy supplies if you don't get them shut down, right? And you have all these miners, right, trying to figure out hash rates to get you these tokens. Or a lot of times you'll actually get, you know, duped into those paper mining where you think you're mining, you think you bought uh, licenses. Travis and I actually fell victim to that, hundreds of thousands of dollars for each of us. And you know, you think you're making all of this money and uh, ultimately they're just paying you with investors money that's coming in and they're not actually really mining, right? We've been, we've been there. We've seen that type of stuff, right? So, you know, it, it, it was very thorough analysis that we had to go through to really see, you know, Travis first, of course, 
and then me, right? I picked this thing apart. Like I've never picked anything apart before in my life, right? I, I needed to know everything. I actually felt pretty bad. I drilled them like I was an FBI interrogator because I wanted to know, like, listen, if I'm putting my name on this, if I'm introducing my community to this concept, I need to know that this is real. I need to know that I can put my stamp of approval on this because people trust me and they follow me here. I need them to understand, hey, listen, if I'm not comfortable putting my money here, I'm not going to ask somebody else to do it. So I need to be 100% comfortable. And I remember I left that day and I could not wait to purchase my licenses. I was so excited. I could not wait to purchase my licenses. In fact, I was trying to get them to unlock some of the licenses that were sold out for me. And by the way, they didn't do that. So you, they do have integrity. They do have character. I was trying to get some of those black gold licenses. That they would not give them to me. And I offered to pay a lot of money for them. And they still would not give them to me. So I'm just letting you guys know they are the real deal, right? And they are very integrity based. And this is a real legitimate operation. Travis, we got you back yet, bud? So anyways, guys, as uh, uh, you know, Travis, you know, comes back online here, I'm sure he's going to pull up the, the, the back end. But this mining dashboard, you guys, I'm going to tell you, I've been in this space. I've been in cryptocurrency for a long time. I have uh, never in, in my life seen a dashboard where you can see the mining happening in real time, right? They have an application on your phone. Or you can do it right on your computer. And this is mining in real time, producing these tokens in real time. You can withdraw them. You can exchange them for cash. You can, you know, you, you don't have to wait for an accumulation period. There's a holding period. If that token hits your wallet, you can withdraw it the same day. I have never seen something more efficient and more real than I have with this project. It's absolutely incredible, right? So when it, when it comes to, hey, listen, commodity back cryptocurrency, hype, hype, you know, uh, uh, hype or substance, and we have a substance-backed operation, the only thing left to identify is, is it real or not? And I can tell you from my experiences, based on everything that I've seen, it is 100% real. And um, there is some things coming down the pipeline too, guys, that you guys are all going to be able to participate in, where you're going to actually be able to see and peek under the hood of a lot of the projects and a lot of different operations that these guys have going. Like, like Travis said, not only is there going to be the voting from the community, but you're going to also be able to look under the hood. You know, uh, uh, Joe's putting together something called a witness council right now, where you can, we're going to actually be able to validate all the contracts of all of the the things that you know uh, uh ix or debt box is is introducing right where we can see the contracts and be the witness council for driven and for ix global where we can actually come back to the community and be like we saw it we, we saw the contracts we know what they're making we know what the royalties are we know the projects and we can tell you that yes what they're burning is actually really happening because we're going to actually be able to see that these guys are so transparent in in their operation it was one of the coolest things that i saw about them most people in the mining business they want to keep as much information from you as they possibly can. They do not want you to know the information. They want to keep that information hidden to you because it's not actually happening. Where here, it is so transparent. Travis, I'm just telling them how transparent this operation is, right? And how you can see the mining in real time and how legitimate this is. And um, it's, it's just something that you don't see in the mining space. I talked to him about our little... Uh, you know, paper mining fiasco as well. I hope you don't mind. But, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of you on here have fallen for that stuff too. So, you know, Travis and I are people that, you know, had, like I said, hundreds of thousands of dollars and, and probably millions of dollars invested in a, in a mining operation that we didn't do the right due diligence on. We thought we did, but we didn't know enough about it back then. So when I saw Travis shot, shooting about this and, you know, uh, fully public with this, I knew that he knew something that I needed to figure out. And once I found out that information, well, here we are, right? <laughs> here we are. So obviously, uh, you know, I just want you guys to take that into consideration as you're looking at all this stuff. But Travis, listen, while we have you back, uh, I, I didn't pull up any slides. So I would love for you to actually show everybody on here what this back end looks like. I think that that would be something really cool for people to okay. see. I don't know if that's something we can show on a live call, is it? Yeah, no, let's do it. You know what? There's yeah. there's other presentations that we've done in the past where you can kind of go in a little bit deeper and see some of the proof. But let's go through that tonight. And I apologize, guys, for the technical difficulties. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm jumping between hot spots and I've got two different Wi-Fi accounts in my house. And for whatever reason, everything seems to be failing me tonight. So you too can be good at this business. Yes. You know, my, first, my, first, my first Zoom I've ever done. So please bear with me. No. <laughs> Uh, let's do it. Let's let's show you guys. Let's get into the back office a little bit. And I want to show you guys how it works and um, give you a little tour. So hang on one second here real quickly. I'm going to stop sharing just so that everybody here doesn't get to see my password. I know to you guys that would be fun for you. 
we'll, we'll log into Summer's account. So, so like I said, once you buy your nodes, the, the first step is um, you buy your license and it gets activated by the company. So very, very user-friendly. And we'll show you what the different prices are in a moment. Second step is, is within about you know three business days at the most, your licenses are assigned and they assign them into your debt back office. Once you're in your debt back office, you can now log in and you can actually see those licenses in action. And it's kind of cool. I mean, to be able to watch in real time. So you can see when you first log in, you're going to get just kind of a, a quick taste of what's happening in the ecosystem right now at this particular moment in time. You know, this changes all day long, just like if you were watching, you know, uh, any type of trading that's happening. So you can kind of see where we're at right now um, and, and with each token. So you kind of get a quick glimpse. You can see your portfolio balance. You can kind of get an idea of what your wallet balances are for each one of your particular projects. If I were to click on rewards, you can see that um, the different licenses that, that Summer currently has in her particular debt wallet. As we are a collector, so some people collect stamps, some people collect baseball cards for stored value, right? At the end of the day, anytime there's a recession, what do people do? They tend to look for stored value. Why? Because I know that if I leave my money sitting in a, in a, in a bank account right now, it's losing money. You're, if you, can, you can put $100,000 in the bank account, let it just sit there. And at the end of the year, it's probably going to be worth about you know, 90 at minimum, right? Maybe I, I think it's going to be worth less than that because inflation, in my opinion, is much higher than what they want to acknowledge. But the reality is, if you're not putting your money to work, then ultimately you're losing money. And so for my wife and I, we started looking at our options. Corey, I was looking at real estate. I was looking at the stock market. I was looking at all these things. And, and I realized that outside of gold and silver, there wasn't much out there to preserve your dollar right now. And so when I was introduced to these licenses, you know, I started with 10 G. And then I realized, man, not only do I like the fact that this is this, this is holding on to the value, but my licenses and my money is actually working for me. And so we started with these 10.g licenses, and I'm pretty excited about this. So just so you guys can kind of get an idea, if you click on those licenses and it opens up, you can see what you have sitting in your piggy bank that's been paid to you that you have not yet withdrawn to your wallet, withdrawn to your wallet. Now, I want you to see this number is going up in real time. These are tokens that are being deposited into my account as we speak. I'm not doing anything. You know, I don't have to sit here and process transactions all day. You know, this is happening 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I'm not doing anything. I have mine uh, hosted through uh, Amazon servers that, uh, to my knowledge, they've gone down, I think, like one time in the last two years. And so the Amazon servers are hosted. When you buy a license, you get a year of free hosting that goes along with it. So you don't have to worry about that at all. And you can see these tokens that are coming in. Now, if I wanted to, I could withdraw these tokens in real time. And they would come now directly from the piggy bank into my own personal decentralized wallet. I'm the only person that has access to the wallet. Even the company debt does not have access to your wallet. If you lose your password, guys, if you lose your seed phrase that's given to you, you're, you're it's like losing the keys to your safe. You can't just email the company and go, hey, will you reset my password? No, they can't because this is your wallet. It's protected. It's decentralized. So you can see over here that the value right now is worth 0. 0.00018. So somebody might say, well, that, gosh, that's in the one thousandth of a penny. Like, can you really make any money like that? Well, we've already burned two, two zeros since we launched this project uh, back in June. But here's what I want you to see. So we go over to wallets for a moment and we look at Nat G. I've accumulated about 60 million Nat G tokens. Now it sounds like a lot, sounds really, really cool. But right now today, that's only worth about $10,000. It's down a little bit. Here's the thing that I want you to understand. I do not care what the price is today. I don't. Like, I, I know that may sound kind of crazy. This is probably one of the most important things I could share with you on this presentation tonight. It's the decisions that you make in a down market and the tokens that you accumulate during that same period of time that can build you true wealth over the next three to five years. I did not say in the next 30 days. I'm not promising you an ROI in the next 60 days, 90 days. This is not get rich quick, but it is get rich possible. And if you understand the principle of accumulation, it's not about short-term ROI. People get so caught up in this concept of, well, the, the note is only producing $3 a day today or $4 a day or $5 a day. And what's the ROI and how long is it going to take for me to get an ROI? Well, the black gold people, Corey, they were making $3 a day for about six months. And then guess what? All of a sudden they realized it wasn't $3 a day. It was really $500 a day. <laughs> price just yeah. hadn't caught up to value yet. There's a difference in a down market between price and value. For example, Bitcoin is priced today. I've looked about $22,000. Is that the value of Bitcoin, Corey? Is Bitcoin that the today? 
Is it? It, it is for you if you sold today. If you sell it today, it is. Yeah, it is for you. But guess what? There's going to be somebody on the other side that says, man, that's not the value. I'm going to buy that because I could care less what the price is today because I'm going to hold on to it until it's 100 or yep. 200 or 300 because they the value is based on whatever you determine it is based on when you sell. Like people, you know, I look at NetG and NetG came down a little bit and people are like, oh, they start selling, right? And, and the thing is, they're selling, but you got to understand there's somebody on the other side that's buying up their losses and saying, I'm just going to sit on this. It's like 2008 in the real, 2009 in the real estate market. I'm just going to buy up this guy's losses and I'm going to be on the other side of it. So what I'm doing is I'm accumulating. Why? Because if I'm holding 60 million tokens, I have 10, 10 million more in the piggy bank. What happens if I burn one zero? What happens if I burn two zeros and I'm no longer the 1,000th and I'm in 100th? What if I get down to now I'm, I'm at 0 0.01? What happens if I get to one cent, five cents, and 10 cents? Even at one penny, it's a pretty decent situation that I'm in, right? You know, what if it hits a dollar, Corey? I don't know, but I hope you uh, take me out on your boat with you. We are going to be <laughs> somewhere having a fun time in the middle of the ocean on a really, really big yacht. You guys get the idea. You can accomplish in cryptocurrency. And there are countless stories. Just go look at the history of crypto and more specifically Bitcoin in comparison to any other industry market that's out there over the last 10 years. They're, they're, there's not even a comparison. That is the reason why people are excited. But I had to ask myself, Corey, okay, well, if I'm going to buy crypto, do I want to be the one that's minting it or do I want to buy it on an exchange? Well, it makes sense that I'm the guy that's bringing it to the market because I'm getting it at the cheapest possible price. And then if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get involved in projects, do I want to buy projects that are backed by nothing and they're highly speculative? They have zero utility. Or do I want to buy projects that are that have real world value? Or, you know, at the end of the day, do I want to just sit back and let these opportunities pass me by with the, the first company that's ever introduced commodity backed crypto? And I believe that this utility, the value of them raising the bar in the cryptocurrency space, you know, Corey, you've said it. The token. Tokenized or asset-backed cryptocurrency is a, how big of an industry is it going to be? Uh, Fifty plus trillion, with a, without question. It is the future of cryptocurrency. It's ultimately why cryptocurrency was started in, in the first place. So, if I believe, so why do I believe that these tokens have value, not the price where it is today, but true value in my mind? And I, I'm not going to say what that is because I don't want you to assume that that's a guarantee because it's not. At the end of the day, you either believe in what we're doing or you don't. I happen to believe. And so I'm a collector of licenses. We have hundreds of them now between my wife and I. And so, you know, what's really, really neat here, and I want to point out for some of you skeptics are like, eh, how do I know you're really mining? How do I know this isn't just one of those things that we've heard about? Every single one of these is your individual unique code that can be looked up on the blockchain with 100% transparency. You can see exactly what your miner is producing. Some of us that have been through this PTSD and the fire have heard stories of, well, you know, you're part of this mining pool. And, and, and just trust us, like the money that you're getting paid every day, you're just, I'm sorry, but you're part of this mining pool. And so, you know, we can't really give you proof of your individual node that it really exists, but it's in Iceland. I promise you it's in Iceland because it's cool there and energy's cheap there. So we've heard these stories, right? This is, you get the title essentially to your, to your node and it's a perpetual license. What does that mean? It means that it doesn't stop mining. So what's great about this, Corey, is, is that, and people overlook this all the time, this license has value because there's only a set amount of them. And when they sell out, just like we talked about with supply and demand, we can now, it now converts to an NFT. That NFT has real world value. I'll give you an example. Go look up Gala Nodes. They started at, a, I think it was $2,000 per license. Today, I just looked, they're $97,000 on OpenSea. You can go look up the price of a, a Gala Node right now. What if you have the ability to go sell these licenses in the open market? So not only do you have a perpetual license that's paying rewards every single day that have the potential, you guys got to really become friendly with that word if you're building the business, the potential to go up, but you also have a real world asset that has value and that value is reflected in your overall portfolio balance. Now, what if you could leverage that balance, Corey, to go buy real estate, or you could do some of those things. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a token that would allow you to do that? Man, that'd be so fun if something like that were to come out, say in 2023, I don't know, be a really, really cool idea, it'd be so neat. But anyways, so for us, we are building 
our portfolio of licenses. We are building our assets. And I can tell you something, even though I don't care about the value today because I'm not cashing them in today, I can if I want to, Corey. I don't care about the true value, but I will tell you this. If I needed to, I could live on the license revenue, the, the, to the, the, the rewards that have value. I could live on that today very, very well based on today's values. And to me, that's exciting to me because I would not be able to do that if I was just buying gold. And I would not be able to do that by buying real estate today because it's overinflated. So that to me is the reason why I'm here. And you can only do that on Bitcoin if you catch it in the right year. <laughs> That's right. Now you guys see these burn notices. These burn notices are what we're talking about. How do you know that there's burns really happening? You can look it up in the liquidity pools. You can look it up and see for yourself. The royalties that are coming in every single month, we publish the amount of burns. And if you're paying attention, you know, some of you guys, you know, I'm going to use Nat G just because I've been talking about Nat G tonight. And all of the projects, you know, they, they have their own indicators that you start to learn to watch. So Nat G... Look at the amount of, of tokens that we just burned last month. Look at that amount. Now, here's if, you, if you've been following to where we started to where we are now, it's significantly going up. Why? Because we have more wells that are coming online. More wells means more revenue. More revenue means what? More tokens that are being accumulated. More tokens being accumulated means what? More and more coins are coming out of the ecosystem. But what's happening to the demand? Well, here's what's happening. The growth, the demand's gone up. Because more and more excitement about this ecosystem is happening around the world, we're selling millions of licenses. But here's the thing, guys. If you truly understand the tokenomics, you understand that at a certain point, there will be more tokens that are being burned than being produced. And when that happens, what potentially happens to the overall value, says simple supply and demand economics. So that is something that I'm excited about. I, you know, Jason said to me once, and I'm going to kind of close out on this note and then we'll kind of wrap it up because we've been going for a long time. But Jason said to the, this to me, Corey, he said, and we can show the prices of the licenses, but he said, um, Travis, in the first year, most people don't even know what they have their hands on, right? They, they, don't, they don't even have a clue, a mining node. That's right. So, so most people don't realize because tokenomics are just getting going. We're just building up the revenue in many of these projects. The burns are just getting started. In some cases, like natural gas, it might even take a, a while to, to, to drill 17,000 feet into the ground. Then you have to case the well. Then you might have to build a pipeline. So it takes time. But when the tokenomics start and they start to increase and increase and increase, pretty soon the licenses sell out. The, 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 there'll never be more tokens coming into circulation, but the continued burns continue to happen. He said, you know, then we go through that annual halving and now quarterly halving on some of the new projects, right? So now all of a sudden people realize, wow, this is kind of cool. I mean, this is neat. You know, that $3 a day, maybe it's now X dollars a day, right? Maybe I wasn't mining $3 a day all along. And then he said to me, by the time they get into the second year and they go through that second halving, they will look back and they will say one thing to themselves. I wish that I would have bought more licenses. I think I can see it happening in my uh, back end right now. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting there. You know, what's really cool to do for, for those of you who are just now getting your licenses and you see it mining. I just want you to sit back and watch them. And I want you to think if all of these projects go to a dollar, how is my life going to be? Because <laughs> that's what I've been doing every morning. And it's been pretty cool. <laughs> yes, you can have multiple nodes. You can have as many. I have multiple. I have hundreds of nodes. And uh, I have friends of mine, Eric Garrison, who, who's up maybe on here tonight, has like 500 licenses. So yeah, you can have many, 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 many nodes. Uh, I want to show the prices real quick. I know we've been going really, really long tonight. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody's patience with the technology issues I've been having. But Corey's done. Thank gosh you're on here, Corey. This would have been a nightmare <laughs> if it was just me tonight. Um, but... So, so here's the different licenses, guys. We've got um, debt, Nat G, and Black Gold that are sold out. The cool thing is, is you can start mining on other projects. You get tokens in your wallet. Guess what? You can swap into Black Gold. You can swap into Nat G. So there's still opportunity to be able to get those tokens. Uh, but we have Grow available. Grow is an amazing project backed by high-yielding agriculture, cocoa bean, soybean. Um, Ghana produces 12% of the, the cocoa bean that goes around the world, which leads to cocoa, chocolate, cocoa butter. I love this project. If you understood the humanitarian side of what we're doing with this project and the impact that we're having with the farmers and the jobs, our projects now support over 10,000 employees just in Ghana alone, you guys. So um, Grow's an amazing project. I think it's one of the most undervalued licenses that we have at $2,600. Digitally linked gold. So this is an actual project. 
It's not backed by a, a gold mine that has gold, gold in a well that you can't drill it. Literally, this particular project's backed by every coin that goes into circulation is backed by the physical counterpart of gold sitting in a vault. And you can actually request that you, if you want to exchange your tokens, they'll send you the gold. Now, it's a more conservative project. Why? Because if the value goes down, you're still protected by the value of gold. So it's one of our more conservative projects. I've heard rumors that there could be a deflationary gold license that could come out in the near future, which is very exciting. Deflationary means that it's more based on the royalties that we've been talking about and the burn side of things. Uh, aluminum and Explorer, phenomenal projects, guys. Aluminum, we partnered with a, a company that's 80 years old, one of the large Ghana bauxite corporation, one of the largest bauxite companies in the world. Bauxite's a clay that converts to aluminum. Uh, the, these guys have enough uh, aluminum in the, the, the hills that they're mining to, to drill for the next 300 years. The licenses I'm buying today will not only go to my children, but their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren because there's so much aluminum and the demand for aluminum is through the roof. All of our licenses, by the way, are perpetual. They don't stop mining. They're willable, sellable, transferable. I love aluminum. I have 15 of those licenses. Uh, Explorer, uh, I have 15. And then I have, my wife has 15. I have 15. Explorer is the scan technology that makes all this possible. The revenue that comes in from all of our te satellite technology and the new satellites we'll be launching this year will only continue to increase revenue, increase burns, and that falls under. It's the first cryptocurrency that is backed by a satellite in space, Corey. Like the first cryptocurrency literally backed by an actual satellite in space. It's also the launching ground of all of our new projects, guys. We've got about a dozen projects currently that are bringing in revenue now that don't have a token that are falling under Explorer right now. And that all goes to the Explorer burns. Bev and Blocks, guys, These Bev is the first project we introduced that is quarterly burns. We decided, hey, annually, let's do quarterly burns plus monthly royalties. People went crazy. We introduced this six weeks ago. It hasn't even hit pancake swap yet. The tokens are not even on an exchange yet. And we are almost sold out. Like, I think there's like 800 licenses left. It'll be the fastest project to ever sell out in history. And it's currently $2,000 for this license. Like, that's in, unheard of. Like, we sold out of Nat G. Corey, we sold out of Nat G. They were selling at $7,500 per license when we sold out. Do you know what you know what debt was selling them for? $72,000 a license. Oh, yeah. Outside. Oh, yeah. $72,000. And, and people, people, people can understand the, the, the tokenomics behind this when these projects sell out and these become NFTs, how valuable that NFT is. I believe that there will be NFT holders that that is your entire retirement, just in the NFT itself. This is your whole retirement. I mean, I truly believe that these projects are going to be so big that, I mean, like, like, you, like you said, Travis, you know, one of the things that Jake and Jace keep telling you is you don't even know what you have your hands on until, you know, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. Can you imagine five, 10 years from now, Travis? I mean, I, I, I just, well, man, people it's, have a hard time thinking. You got to start making decisions based on three to five years, not based on these, these, these right. short term pump and dump quick try to get rich quick deals. That's where most people end up losing. And so it's it's really about making educated, well-informed decisions. And again, it comes back to our ecosystem. Blocks, real estate, you know, we've got a, a, essentially a, an unlimited fund that allows us to be able to um, do some pretty big commercial deals. I mean, I was on a phone call two hours ago with somebody. I was on the phone with an ambassador from a country in Africa somewhere. I hadn't even heard of the country. And then I was on the phone with some other real estate investors all on the same call. And the guys were, they, they are building, the developments are building a 24,000 home developments that are wanting to be involved in the blocks project. And, and the cool thing about this is, is right now, because interest rates are up with everything, um, commercial builders are being squeezed by the banks. And so we have the ability to come in and provide more efficiency. We can provide them better rates. Uh, the burns are fantastic. The, the royalties that are coming in from this project. So if you want to get involved in real estate, Blocks is a phenomenal license to get involved in. And uh, guys, this is just the start. We, you know, we're estimated to release a dozen projects a year, at least one to two every quarter, um, maybe more than that, depending on where we're at. Um, so you know, there's a lot of different licenses that are out there. The best way to get started is just to get your feet wet. You know, what happens, very rarely do people buy one license. I'll tell you guys that right now. First of all, most people typically come in and they want to kind of get their hands on Bevan Blocks because they just launched and Aluminum and Explorer because they just, you know, those are amazing projects. And so they'll usually buy, a, you know, if they can, three, four, five licenses, kind of start off with a portfolio. We, we're seeing a lot of diversification where people are taking 10, 20% of their 401k and saying, man, this is down. I need to hedge those losses. Let me self-direct. Let me take control and let me put it over here 
where I now have stored value and now I have potential cash flow or cash flow and potential upside growth. And so we're seeing a lot of that. And so we're seeing people come in and they'll buy a portfolio. But Corey, what happens is, is people start to, it's addicting because you start realizing I'm building my future. Not only if I need that daily cash flow, I have access to it, right? It's there. I can cash this in every day. There's no restrictions, but I have the upside growth potential that cryptocurrency is bringing to people that you just cannot find anymore by putting a little bit of money away and trying to save for the next 40 years. You know what? That is not the plan that I'm on. My plan is, is in three to five years, I'm going to be sitting on a beach somewhere drinking out of a coconut. And I believe that I can do that in cryptocurrency, especially with Eating ice cream out of a pineapple. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So I, I'm going to stop on that tonight. We've been going a long time. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other, you know, videos and presentations. Corey referenced a presentation, an interview we did with Roy Nelson this last week. And Roy Nelson is the physical side of the company. And he explained it in a way where he really will touch your heart about the humanitarian side behind all of these projects. You want some more validation, go watch that. If you want some more specifics about each one of the projects, we've got other presentations that we can send you. If you want to learn about the opportunity, we have presentations that you can send send you. But you know, I just want to close by saying this for you. I'm, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for the Driven Eco community and the value that you bring to IX Global. I'm grateful to be working with you and partner with you and partner with everybody else that's on here. If you're watching this for the first, first time, I'm just going to tell you, you're in the right place at the right time. Whether you just want to buy licenses wholesale, great. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. But if you want to be a part of something really significant and go change lives of others and in the process, change your own life, IX Global has an opportunity for you. Yeah, Travis, yeah, I just want to say thank you, buddy, for, you know, spending time with the community tonight and really just coming out here and, you know, outside of the technical issues with the internet connection, right? You did a great job. And I just want you guys to know, you know, I, I have... Uh, you know, been in the space, uh, you know, financial literacy for a long time, right? You know, not only uh, being in the, the stock market and the financial market since 2012, you know, being in the industry of direct sales since 2008, um, you know, working with some very large companies, right? Fortune 500 companies, Fortune 100 companies, you know, as a consultant, um, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of, you know, opportunity that exists in the world today, right? There's a lot of opportunity that exists in the world today. I want you to really kind of look at everything that you saw tonight. And I actually want you to stretch your mind and I want you to see what could this become? Cause this is how I've looked at this. I started to think about what this could do for my life and the lives of the people that I love, right? And I started to dream on how big this could potentially get. And I let my mind just wander, right? And I'm going to tell you something. The only thing that I had to do after that was find out, is this real? And I'm on this call, guys, because I had validated that it is real. So I can tell you from based on everything that I have looked at, this is the most real thing I've ever seen. In fact, I think it's going to absolutely change the world. I think it's going to change the world in so many ways. I think it has the ability to change every single one of our lives on, on this call. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going to one of those people that's kind of sitting at the edge of your bed at Odark 30, you know, uh, watching infomercials on how to buy or sell real estate with little to no money, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, your prayers might have been answered tonight, right? And, you know, Travis and I, we're, we're just, you know, we're guys that like to go out there and, and, and get our feet wet and, uh, you know, uh, we take the shirts off our back for you, you know, where we run, you know, we've done very well in our life. We'd never have to be doing another thing again, probably for the rest of our lives, right? You know, I probably speak for both of us in that, right? You can spend time with our families and, you know, but that's just not who we are, right? We're, we're people that have to be in, in, in the trenches and that's why we're here and that's why we'll continue to be here. So, you know, for those of you who are gonna be getting started with this, just wanna be the first to welcome you to the community. You know, we're here to support you in every way we can. You get back with the person who invited you onto the broadcast tonight. We'll walk you through the process, how to get your licenses, how to get set up. We'll be doing a lot more calls like this. I hope you can see Travis and I are super laid back dudes, right? Or not have to be the super polished presentation. So I hope you don't mind the, uh, you know, two hour long presentation. I, I don't think we planned that but you know hey it was, it was a good flow yeah. and you know we got through her and uh you know guys we just want you to know we appreciate your time tonight thank you for sticking out here with us 300 of you you have made it so now i'll tell you right now the 300 of you you'll be the first to be invited out onto travis's yacht when uh you know natty hit the dollars <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have some fun. Anyways, thank hey, you guys so much travis, appreciate you brother
Yeah, you bet. We've been having a, a ball today. My first presentation today was at 4 a.m., Corey. So this is this is my last one. That's how many, You're that's how butt, exciting man. this is right now. And the reason why I can't talk and I've got these little dark circles because everybody wants, if you if you knowed, you knowed. That's, that's all I can you tell you. Know, you knowed, you knowed. Hey, put some makeup <laughs> on your eyes. We got some more. <laughs> hey, Asia's just waking up right now, brother. I need you for another couple of Let's go. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Have Take a good care. night, everyone. Love Bye -bye. you guys.